Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jairsfilvet and Polly.com. I get a lot of questions about e-collars, so I wanted to go over e-collars. I think in general people use them kind of, um, they're a little misappropriate with them. So I wanted to go over when I use them, why I use them, and specifically when not to use them. This is our little storage area for e-collars. We have lots of different kinds. Now, lots of different kinds are very important for a few reasons. Um, I am very specific about which e-collar I use in which situations, so I wanted to go over that with you. So here's our big assortment, and I'll kind of go over them. You know, the ones that you typically see are the plastic ones. Um, these are available at every big box store, every pet store. This is a really quick, easy one because it's Velcro. It still comes in many sizes. There are sizes on here, and most of the sizes will give you an understanding of what um, size is for your dog. But in general, these e-collars are for short-term use. So this is like a three-day e-collar. So if a dog's got a hot spot or a broken nail, this is what I will use for just a couple of days. One, it's hard plastic. So you bump the plastic enough times and it will start to break and crack. Two, it's very, it can be difficult to keep clean. Three, if you leave it on too long, um, the dog, when their dog's, when the face is in here, it can suffocate their ears. So I've seen dogs get ear infections because it's too close to their ears. So it's really just a short term e-collar. That and it'll destroy your house. So this is for, you know, really in my opinion, less than five days. The other thing, when you size this, you want to put it on your dog, you want to push it all the way down on their neck, and then the end of their nose shouldn't stick past it. So when you look at them from the side, their nose should be in here even when you push it all the way down their neck. So that's how you size the e-collar. It's not just the weight and the size of the dog, it's how far their nose extends. Um, some dogs, like the greyhounds, have very long necks, very long noses, and very thin necks. So there are some times where we even have to double these up, where they need two e-collars just to get them long enough. So this is, in my opinion, for about a 60 pound lab um, with a normal size nose. The next e-collar that we have are these paper ones. Paper ones are, are easy. I think they're easier for cats. Cats can tend to get a little claustrophobic. You can even put them on the cat and kind of turn it down so they can't get to the extremities. But paper is you know, very disposable, very cheap, but it's really only for a couple days too. It's just to sort of discourage itching or licking versus stop the itching or licking. So be careful about a paper collar. There's very few instances where it's going to be beneficial. Um, I'm using this on my dog right now who um, is licking intermittently and it's just sort of enough to discourage him to do it. But paper ones are available and they come in lots of different sizes too. So this is our smallest for like small cat and then it comes to very large. These are what we call the cushion, kind of flotation device kind. These I use primarily in orthopedics. So the dogs that have um, a broken leg, a cruciate rupture, these are e-collars that are designed to be used for months and months. Um, I also give these to the people who have chronic skin allergies because the skin allergies are gonna come and go and come and go. So you've got something that you can use almost year around, almost all the time, and they're really easy to clean. They all have sizing on them, so they come in extra small to extra large. So this one will give you some idea of the size and then the weight class behind it. Um, so these are really sort of our e-collar selection. I've had lots of clients make their own e-collars. I've had people with cats make it out of a paper plate. In the old days, we used to use the old um, x-ray film. Anything that you can cut in a circle and make a hole, you know, make a hole for the face in, you can use it. Now, this is all about e-collars. The most important thing is when not to use them. Never put an e-collar on unless you're treating the underlying cause. I can't stress that enough. This is not a torture device to put on your pet so that they can't get to the thing that's bothering them. You know, I tell people it's like having poison ivy and then being handcuffed. It doesn't change the fact that you've got poison ivy and you're itching and it's driving you crazy. You have to treat whatever the reason is that you're putting the e-collar on. So that's my big, giant, important message. If your dog has a skin infection, check for fleas, check for anything that might cause the itching, and then treat the fleas or treat the underlying skin infection. Don't just put an e-collar on them intermittently and think that you're treating anything. You're not, you're just probably making your dog or cat crazy. And it's really upsetting to me that people think they just put the e-collar on and they stop licking. No, there's some reason. There's some reason why they're licking or chewing or biting or scratching. And it's really important to figure that out. Um, there's a whole other bunch of stuff that we've got here. So we have gentle leaders. We have basket muzzles. Um, we also have medical pet shirts and anxiety shirts. So I'm gonna do another whole video on that. There's a whole kind of dog 
um, clothing line available and there's lots of reasons why we use those and I'll go over that in another video. But the most important thing is if you think your dog need, or cat needs an e-collar, you should know why they need the e-collar. You should be treating that reason. You should be alleviating it. No animal goes home with an e-collar here without a medication to stop whatever is causing them to need the e-collar in the first place. It is the last thing that goes on your treatment list, not the first thing. So if you have any questions about e-collars or all of the many reasons why we use them, you can find me here at Jarrett's Vet or pobbly.com. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.